my channel Farna Link with Shomita. Uh, I hope you are enjoying my all videos and uh, if you are not following my channel then please do follow because I am explaining all the important chapters of science and mathematics uh, based on school syllabus and I am showing uh, the study related artworks or projects also. If you are liking my videos then definitely give it a big like and share and subscribe my channel so that I will get inspiration for making more and more these like helpful videos for you. And uh, hit the bell icon so that uh, whatever new videos I am uploading those videos notification will reach to you first. Uh, in my previous videos I have already explained uh, the basic uh, of the geometry. Uh, I explained triangles, circles, straight lines, uh, quadrilaterals. And today I am going to start uh, the solid shapes. And uh, today uh, I am going to explain in my today's video the basic structure of Cube. So let's get started. First, we have to discuss about what is a cube. A symmetrical three dimensional solid shape contained by six equal squares. You all know that in my previous videos, I discussed about triangles, circles, quadrilaterals, and those all are two dimensional shapes because. Uh, those all have length and breadth and here cube is uh, one type of solid shape more solid shapes are there we will discuss in my uh, upcoming videos and cube I am discussing today and cube is a solid shape and it is three dimensional shape because it has length breadth and height let's discuss with diagram then it will be clear to us here two diagrams I gave this is a diagram of square and this is a diagram of cube and why I gave the diagram of square here because cube is a solid shape surrounded by six squares here six squares are there and square is a two-dimensional shape and cube is a three-dimensional shape why? Because suppose I am considering the length of the square as L and breadth of the square as B. Uh, then here is another uh, extra dimension is there that is height. Here also uh, length are there. Suppose these are the length and these are the breadth of the cube. And extra one dimension is there that is height. Three dimensions are there. And uh, you all know, I already discussed in my quadrilateral video that uh, for square, length and breadth are equal. So all sides are equal for square. And same as here cube also, here all three dimensions are equal. Means I can write that length and breadth and height all are equal uh, in measurement. That is for cube only. And for other shapes, uh, it will be separate and we will discuss that in my upcoming videos. Now, according to the earlier discussion, we can uh, state that the number of edges for a cube will be 12. Edges means, here I draw the diagram, here means two planes are meeting uh, in which state line. And the straight line uh, on which two planes are meeting those are called edges and for cube here 12 edges are there and uh, for face uh, here uh, six faces are there face means uh, that's how many squares are there here those are the faces and vertices means the point where uh, three planes are meeting those are uh, the the points uh, those are called vertices and here for cube eight vertices are there and and those are the conclusion about Q and uh, I already discussed uh, the other shapes means circles, quadrilaterals uh, and triangles in my previous videos for my previous chapters you can uh, search from my description box. This is an indoor game present in everybody's house I think and generally it is called magic Q but uh, its actual name is uh, Rubik's Cube and the Rubik's Cube is a 3D combination puzzle invented in 1974 by Hungarian sculptor and professor of architecture Erno Rubik's 
and this is this indoor game is a perfect example of a cube to make a perfect cube with the help of paper or cardboard you have to draw this like net using pencil scale and a protector or compass perfect six number of squares interconnected to each other like this design you have to draw the net and after that you have to fold according to the joint or common straight line then you will get a perfect cube this is a model of dice we all know that everybody's house uh, in our indoor games it is present but we make made one big model of dice using the uh, chart papers colors and uh, cardboards to show you that dice is a perfect example of a perfect cube because you can see that here length breadth and height are same so i made one uh, net uh, i showed you just now, now only and a net and after that i folded that and i sticked and i made this model of dice i hope my explanation about cube will become helpful for you and till now i am ending my today's video let's meet in my next video bye students and bye parents